everybody. I'm here for a journal project share. This is um, a gift that I made for a friend of mine who recently announced her pregnancy and they're having a little boy. And I know that they had been struggling for a while and I just felt like I really wanted to make this for them. When we had our first child, we had been trying for ever to have a baby and we had given up and we're looking into adoption when we realized we were pregnant. And I know how frustrating it is when everyone around you seems to be pregnant and you just feel like you're not getting there and it's never gonna happen for you. But it did and it does. So I'm overjoyed for her. <clears throat> so I made her this. This was hugely inspired, um, especially the cover by Carla Frizzell. Um, I watched her do a flip through as I was thinking about what to do for my friend and she had used some quilt as a spine. And so that's what I did. I had this um, little golden book and I hadn't made a little golden book since like last year when everybody, remember when our biggest concern was were the changes that YouTube was making to the rules about YouTube and protecting kids? I don't even remember their acronym anymore. <laughs> how times change. So I had stopped making them and this got me, ooh, see how yummy that is, um, to make them again. So this is a Baby Farm Animals Little Golden Book. It has a hitch post, sorry silk closure, and it has corners. And the spine, you can see it has three signatures. This spine is just the quilt. Well, well that's not true. There's in this spine, there's also a little piece of um, Tyvek that I just cut off a used envelope just to reinforce because it is a, an actual vintage quilt. But because it's a soft, it's a soft um, spine, it allows the journal to stay completely flat when you open it. And I have some charms coming out of the bottom and laces um, out the side. So let's look inside. So over here, is an envelope. Oh, and this paper that I've used is another Crafts Consortium. I think it's Farm and Meadow, and it's adorable. So tucked into this envelope here is a glassine envelope, and this is from My Porch Prints, the stuff inside, anyway. And I have fussy cut a whole bunch of banners that are first this and first that, and it comes with a little booklet that you can put the little banners into. So it's a little, you know, booklet within the journal with important things. So that cuteness goes into this glassine bag. <clears throat> and that glassine bag with a cute little bunny. Do you see that little bunny? This is the cutest kit. Uh, or paper pack and that slides right in there and that wraps around the, this that has another little bunny and a little porcelain bunny charm. Here's the flat pen with chickens and ducks <coughs> and um, that has some uh, not vintage lace. It's bright white and I love it. <laughs> and this, I love this farm. There's a lot of lace on here. Actually, I'm going to stick that back on. <coughs> Okay, um, this kit of tags came from, I think, TaylorMade Journals? Oh, I think it's TaylorMade Journals. I'll double check. <clears throat> it's actually been a while since I finished this. Um, and so the first two signatures have the story. And this is more of that My Porch Prince kit that has Beatrix Potter images that are so adorable and the colors just went really well and bunnies <clears throat> um, and this is I've also stuck in some other children's books this is a little golden book but this is from Old MacDonald Had a Farm it has a baby sheep <clears throat> and the three kittens and then there's a lot of journaling space as well this is a um pocket that has a lace pocket, a foldy pocket. It has a big main pocket. This is um, decoupaged vellum. And 
and that just slides in that main pocket. And then on the back, there's more pockets. And these papers, uh, the scrapbook papers are that same kit. And this is a decoupage vellum tuck spot with a decoupage vellum journaling card. This is from a uh, Little Golden Books Animal Dictionary. And this is a glassine bag that has, this is uh, from a children's book page that came in a pack of things, I'm not sure. And you can see the other side of it. I didn't stick anything in here because I liked how you could see both sides. And she, I'm sure she can find things, photographs or mementos to fill that with. There is the other Old MacDonald. And I um, this staggered pocket was, I watched a G. Kerr video where she did this. And I just thought it looked so cute with those papers. And these are paint chips. And I struggled with whether they should face this way or face this way so that you would see the yellow here, but I just love the way that looks. And the colors from the paint chips went so well with the kits. So, voila. And the images from this little golden book are so sweet. Here's another pocket to mark the end of the first signature. Here's the second signature and you can see how much room there is to grow. <clears throat> another journaling tag. I've backed them all with tea dye paper. This center, um, pretty sure this is my porch prints. Again, I will double check and I'll link it. Um, so it was a kit and I glued the two sides. I printed them out on just regular copy paper, but I glued them and sewed them back to back. And I used a lot of the um, Beatrix Potter in this section. So there's no little golden book. This is more of just like a baby book type section. Oh, but this, um, these pockets are collaged uh, vintage wallpaper kit from TaylorMade Journals. Very much the way Gail Agostinelli made them. I just love the colors and they went with the kit so beautifully. So I have some tags and some tuck spots that are TaylorMade Journals vintage wallpaper. And this is more just places to, you know, to journal. This is just tea dyed cardstock. Here's another one of those tuck spots and, and journaling tags with tea dyed paper on the back. More Beatrix Potter. <laughs> so cute. So cute. I had so much fun doing this. Another collaged tag and tuck. Doesn't that look like baby blanket? <laughs> I love that. <clears throat> really cute kits. Oh, I forgot to show you the, there's the charms on the other one. This is a chicken and a watering can. The first charms were a mama bird and a baby bird. I love that little mouse. Tucks in there. I had fun with all the laces. This was just, this was just a joy to make. I loved doing this. I think I'm going to make more. I'm also thinking you guys, in about seven months from now, there's going to be a baby boom. So there's going to be a big demand for these books. Another one of those. Oh, and I used the inking. The color that I used for the inking was Salty Ocean. Turns out Salty Ocean goes really well with Beatrix Potter and baby books. It's more of those adorable tags. And the last signature, this is getting back to more little golden books with chickens. And two cute little tags from that kit. Pretty sure that's tailor-made. Ah, oh, I can't remember. This is parchment, <coughs> cardstock. <coughs> Just more of the same kinds of stuff. Uh, children's book, here's frog and toad that you can see same kind of glassine bag arrangement this is a beautiful um children's book this has a butterfly and a um a little baby deer some more um P peter rabbit across from the baby bunnies goose and another one of those uh multi pocket pockets 
look at this tiny little tag and the little lace pocket. I just love how this came out. Another decoupaged vellum tag in the main pocket. Another, some more of those cute little tags. Look at the little mouse daddy. So cute. And that is pretty much the end of that. Oh, this was a little off cut and I used my um, stamp for that and I signed it right there. And some of that beautiful lace. And the last feature is another, um, this isn't, I didn't glue it down to make a pocket. It's more of an envelope with a porcelain chicken charm and a bunny circle. And you can open it. And these are the things that I wound up not using, but still made and cut out. So these are just extra journaling bits for her to use that will live right there. Actually, this goes actually go out thing from sliding around and so that just winds around that circle and she can, mama hen lies right there so that is my baby book I'll um, wait to share this with everybody until she's received it. but I was really happy with how it came out so I wanted to share it with you so thanks for watching Please, if you haven't already, click like and subscribe. And if for some reason I've missed linking something, just send me a message and I'll fix it up. So have a great day. Bye-bye.